Mm. Good morning. Pull up a chair, get some coffee. Um, I just finished breakfast and I made a double batch. This is my famous oatmeal. And in it, I put steel cut oats, rolled oats, a tad of salt, cinnamon, and uh, walnuts crushed up with my bare hands. And uh, damson plums uh, cooked down, where they're still solid, through a few uh, cooked down apples that were very, very tasty. I had uh, weighed out 350 grams. I normally do 300 grams of the oats and uh, 50 grams of the fruit. So with that said, this morning I also began preparations for lunch and dinner and vegetables. I'm, I'm going to go out here on a limb and say I'm going back on my almost plant-based diet where I use meat as a condiment rather than a protein filler. So I will be cooking today some pinto beans. Yep, they're called white red kidney beans. And I'll have those over rice. For a vegetable, I'm cooking frozen okra and diced tomatoes. And if I was going really, oh, I guess if, if I was going country, I would use uh, ripe tomatoes or home canned tomatoes. Uh, or if I'm going Italian, I would use the imported ones from Italy. They're quite good. Anyway, I added a whole uh, red onion, and I thawed out the okra while the onions cook. Well, I want to show you this. A friend of mine gave me this half of an onion uh, container to keep uh a half an unused onion in your refrigerator. It's too small for a whole onion, but if you have an onion left over, you only need part of it. That is a great tool. So, I cook down the okra till the onions were clear, and then I put in my tomatoes, kept it stirred, kept it on low heat, and it's not quite ready yet. I've turned the heat way down. I want to show it to you. I don't know if you can actually see. The red and green is really great. Mm. Just getting soft. Oh, I love the flavor of the tomatoes, onions, and okra. They have a wonderful texture, wonderful Christmassy color. And they remind me of home. My mother was from Louisiana and cooked a lot of Southern food. Mm. That's it from Chef Boyard Dick and the Kitchen at the Crack House. Adios. Or I better take a sip, right?